Good morning, everyone. 4 a.m. How could the government be able to hide everything in space or the system, whoever's out there, with light? Right? <laughs> That's the way they do it. Hi, welcome, everyone. A great big thank you to each and every one of you for having taken the time to subscribe to this channel. It's being hacked. I'm not going to hide it. Um, the numbers are rolling down. Uh, French Channel was destroyed, but still, I'm not going to quit. So, just let you all know, I greatly appreciate um, the support that you give the channel. The leaked image on the top left from Jeremy Corbell's of, um, a leak from his a friend from the Navy, whatever. And on the right, something I've captured before. So, we're going to go see a whole bunch of sun stuff. And... I think pretty much that maybe some moon stuff depending on where we are in the video I shouldn't say this because if I don't add the moon you're gonna say well so there we'll add the moon did you know there were UFOs on the moon did you know that I was getting captures well for those of you not following the channel um, UFOs or biological creatures or just anomalies spraying letting off a smoke illuminating on the surface along Clavius crater um, we're going to go see some debris in space. I've captured actually what I believe is debris, quite a bit of debris. Um, so thanks again for being here. Um, thumbs up. Greatly appreciated, my friends. The views. The last video says uh, 2,000, but in analytics, um, I'll only get uh, 900 views. And that's what was documented. So they're playing with the numbers. So this is possibly debris right like if i was to say look a ufo going by well it could be because obviously there's a whole bunch of different characteristics about them but nonetheless we do hear that there is debris and you see another little piece to the right of it so these are pieces going by um, in um, earth's lower atmosphere literally being able to be captured with uh, the infrared of course camera and no it, um, i do not see them with the naked eye the sun UN made a video a couple hours ago, not even, I think about an hour ago, they were talking about exactly what is going to happen. So they say, again, I'm not even going to tell you what I think of them. I'm just going to tell you what they're saying. Um, climate change is irreversible. It's due to humans, they say. But I say it's due to probably not helping, but the sun. Speaking of the sun, this object that I told you all that was planet size, it definitely is. The size of a planetoid or something. But... It could be plasma that was ejected from the sun. It doesn't have to necessarily be Planet X or Nibiru. But um, I don't talk enough about Planet X or Nibiru. And for me, until, you know, we don't have any confirmation either way about it. Um, or even if we did, until we see it. But I'm telling you, look at the large objects um, that I do capture beside the sun. Most people don't capture objects beside the sun. And I'll tell you why. Uh, we will go see the sun footage that I caught yesterday. There are more solar flares. I'm going to show you uh, plasma clouds on the bottom uh, southwestern side of the sun. So, yeah, why do people not get these images? Or This is not an image, by the way. It's a video um, in slow motion of objects beside the sun. Well, quite simply, I had to film... Okay, I'll give you a rough estimate. 35, 40 hours before I was able to capture this. And those 40 hours were filmed over a period of 365 days. So, no, I can, I, from Canada, I can confirm that I do not see objects beside the sun every day. But as you move along the surface, and again, the round-ish earth, right, the curvature, you're, you're never gonna get the same view when you go out so many miles. I'm not going to tell you how many miles because I didn't do any calculations. I'm just trying to use common sense when you think of it. The sun, they try to hide it a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. And sometimes on certain occasions, they go all out. You see here, four planes. All of a sudden, one after the other, timed, went by and, and sprayed. And sometimes weird things like this strip where we saw one come down and get this. He's going to go down and reach the other one and go around the other way and make a like a U-turn, which planes don't go. It's like saying, hey, we're going to the north. Uh, we're going to none of it. Oh, hang on. We forgot something. Let's go back to the States because that's exactly where you see the angle turning around. Jupiter and one of its moons. This was, again, yesterday. And there was a lot of um, 
brightness coming from Jupiter. So I said, what the heck? I mean, I know there's the moons around it, many moons, but it was very bright um, with the naked eye. So I said, I'll get a, a quick shot. Not Didn't film it very long, but still, as you see one of the moons approaching to, uh, can we say conjunction? Anyways, pass in front uh, or in back of Jupiter. We're going to see this intense light. So yes, Jupiter was very, very strong. So this was an interesting one that I sort of really jumped over. Um, fireballs leaving the sun, plasma, um, coronal mass ejections are caused, right, from these solar flares. And uh, I'm learning more and more every day. Um, if we depend on what the SOHO satellite says and what they're showing, <laughs> anyways, uh, crossing fields, it's a no-no. That, that's where the explosions occur. When the alignments of the magnetic lines on the surface of the sun, um, and we've been, uh, sorry, I'm gonna finish what I was saying. They explode when they cross over. You see that U shape, upside down, horseshoe shape that goes on the sun, then another one comes along and then pow, we get these explosions. And obviously here is the plasma literally lifting up off the surface. We can see a fireball, definitely a fireball. It's very, very interesting. Um, and don't forget, when you're zoomed up very, very close, um, birds are black too. Like I say, I like talking about all the characteristics so that we know exactly what we're looking at. There's a difference uh, with a boulder or, or plasma ejection and, and just a bug. But I'll be honest with you, there's a lot of videos of people um, capturing pollen and everything. I, I've shown all those videos. I have them all up. I've done the test filming pollen myself with the infrared camera during the day. It's very easy and tried to compare them at night. Anyways, doing a whole bunch of tests. Um, it's not going to harm anything. It's just going to help us get uh, broaden our view on exactly the whole picture. There it is close up. It actually disintegrates as it goes out. Right. So this is yesterday's sun. And as you're watching this, I'm definitely outside. Um, going to film today. Hot, hot weather coming. Um, as I said, the water uh, is not going to stop rising. The UN just made a video saying that also uh, about an hour ago, saying that uh, it's irreversible. Uh, put the blame on us. Whether it is or not, let me tell you, the, um, they should be talking about the sun because I guarantee you, it is my belief that this weather change um, is due uh, not solely to climate change, but because of each and every uh, placement of um, the planets in the solar system, the sun, the moon, when it's either uh, full or not full, I believe it can affect everything. So you get this one horrible day where it's a full moon, it affects the tides, and where the sun is absolutely incredibly fiercely uh, flaring, uh, let's say hundreds of flares on the, on the sun, and then all of a sudden uh, several coronal mass ejections, takes out the grid, very dangerous for the grid. I've been having problems with my digital devices uh, this week and last week. I don't know about you all. I'm sure some of you have had problems too. So there it is, a southwest side now. The top side of the sun is on the right. I turn the sun over to the right. And we're looking at the top west and sort of south side, not sort of, bottom south is left, uh, north is right, and uh, but the plasma is sort of south it's actually exactly southwest there it is straight up and i don't know if you know it and i'm i've been saying it often it's the size of many earths like you, you could see you could fit a whole bunch of planets in the solar system right there and uh yeah i'm telling you th these um, spots that we, we see are large and not just spots now plasma i had the chance to see the characteristics on the sun in only one week or two weeks we're seeing plasma clouds we're seeing fireballs we're seeing a whole bunch of things um as dangerous as it is we're going to keep uh, viewing it because it definitely is interesting to see what's going on we can talk about it um in the next uh live stream for sure so the moon aris uh, i fit it i fits them in aristarchus crater is on top it's actually completely blinded you can see just the ridge the big uh, crater in it there and underneath this is all around it we see surface anomalies whether they're natural or not they're definitely definitely interesting forgive me if i showed you this part of mercurium it's very short the video look at the objects and lines wow natural or not sure looks constructed 90 degree angles by the way also 
Um, it's where Elon Musk, it's a short clip, Elon Musk is also going to land in 2022. Not him necessarily, but who knows? Um, yeah, the first landing, seriously, uh, to drop off some uh, equipment, let's say, right? The Wi-Fi will be up because there's going to be a satellite for communications between Earth and the moon. If it's not already up, imagine when people from the moon start hacking the Earth. Oh, boy. Well, maybe it's already being done, <laughs> right? Who knows? Maybe it is already being done. Um, there are UFO lights that are coming to the surface of the moon, and they are definitely going unnoticed. The effort that I've done to zoom up and uh, to really slow it down and to show it, to bring the light down so you can see this object properly, uh, to differentiate the surface from the object, and look at the lights in the background still coming. It's an activity. It's traffic on the moon. It's very, very hush-hush. I would say this is even more secretive than the disclosure, uh, UFO disclosure, literally. Um, what they're talking about Mars, I'm pretty sure they're going to talk about Mars before this. These are object, constructed objects. I believe it, especially on the top there where the arrow is. And you can see that they have the same reflectivity. Uh, they're, they're blinded by the light, literally, uh, under the smokes and hazes, making an even surface and hiding them even more. And don't forget, I'm, I'm ex extremely zoomed up here to be able to show it. It's not easy. I want to thank each and every one of you for supporting this channel. Please subscribe. Hackers are rolling down the channels, and it's not clickbait. I assure you, the channel is being attacked. It's only thanks to you all that I'm still here. We'll fight together. Doesn't matter cause disclosure's coming soon